we're asked to find the angle theta between the following vectors, where the angle theta will be in the closed interval from zero to 180 degrees, though we will also find the angle in radians in the closed interval from zero to pi radians, where vector u is equal to negative three i plus 11 j, which means a component form vector u has an x component of negative three, a y component of 11 and the vector u is graphed here in blue. Vector v is equal to i plus 3j, which means a component form vector v has an x component of one, a y component of three, which is graphed here in red. And notice there are two angles between the two vectors. There's this angle here, the angle we'll be finding, but there's also a larger angle on the other side. We'll find the angle using the formula cosine theta equals vector u dotted with vector v divided by the product of the magnitudes of the two vectors. And we can solve this equation for theta by taking the inverse cosine or arc cosine on both sides, which gives us theta equals inverse cosine of u dotted with v divided by the magnitudes of u and v. Remember the output for inverse cosine is the closed interval from zero to 180 degrees or zero to pi radians. And therefore, when we go to the calculator, it is going to give us the angle we are looking for. Let's begin by determining the dot product as well as the two magnitudes. So vector u dotted with vector v is equal to negative three times one, the product of the x components, plus 11 times three, the product of the y components. This is equal to negative three plus 33, which is equal to 30. One thing to notice here, because the dot product is positive, the angle between the two vectors will be acute, which does match our graph. And now let's find the magnitudes. The magnitude of vector u is equal to the square root of the square of negative three plus the square of 11 which is equal to the square root of nine plus 121, which is equal to the square root of 130. And now we will find the magnitude of vector v, which is equal to the square root of one squared plus three squared, which is equal to the square root of one plus nine which is equal to the square root of 10. Now that we have all the information we need to find the angle theta. Cosine theta is equal to the dot product, which is positive 30, divided by the product of the magnitudes, which is the square root of 130 times the square root of 10. Now we could multiply these and then simplify, but there's no need because we're going to solve this problem using the calculator. But let's go ahead and solve for theta by taking the inverse cosine on both sides, which will give us theta equals inverse cosine of 30 divided by the product of the square root of 130 and square root of 10. And now we'll go to the calculator and find the angle theta in degrees as indicated, as well as radians and we are told to round to four decimal places. So going to the calculator, let's first find the angle in degrees. So we will press the mode key and change the mode to degree by highlighting degree and then pressing enter. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode and then we enter second cosine for inverse cosine. And we can enter this fraction two ways. One way is to enter 30 divided by now because we want the product in the denominator, we would need parentheses around the denominator. So we have open parenthesis, second x squared for the square root, 130. Right arrow, the multiplication is optional. I'll go ahead and put it in, times second x squared, 10. Right arrow, close parenthesis for the denominator, and then close parenthesis for the input for inverse cosine, and enter. Notice how we do have an acute angle. We do have a six in the fifth decimal place, and therefore running to the fourth decimal place, we have 33.6901 degrees.
Now there is a fraction format feature I do want to show you that can simplify the previous entry. We can press second cosine for inverse cosine and then alpha y equals and then select option one by pressing enter. And notice how this brings up the fraction format. Using this format, we would not have to put the denominator in parentheses. We can enter 30, right arrow, the square root, 130, right arrow, times square root, 10, right arrow, right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter, and we get the same result. And now let's also find the angle in radians by simply changing the mode back to radians. We press mode, highlight radian, press enter, second mode to go back to the home screen, and now we can pull up the previous entry by pressing second enter, and because we are now in radian mode, if we press enter, we have the angle now in radians. Because we have a zero in the fifth decimal place, to four decimal places, the angle is 0 0.5880 radians. So again, we just found this angle here between the two vectors in both degrees and radians. I hope you found this helpful.